Jake Young is a freshman here at UT and he's been working on learning tunes and developing language comping and soloing around the drums using the melodic information in those tunes. So an important aspect to getting this process under your belt is to learn how to sing the tune and to be able to do that you have to find multiple versions of these standards because if you only listen to one version it might be a great version by Miles Davis but he might barely hint at the melody so if you're trying to learn the tune you might not really actually learn it from that recording also you'll find things like intros and outros might be the same or might be different in, in different versions and if you're aware of that it's going to help you on the bandstand when somebody calls that tune. So he's coming up with some, some ways to use the melodic material to develop uh, coordination things and just musical stuff that we see every day in real life comping like sometimes we play the space sometimes we play the kicks in the melody uh, so if you if you take all this stuff together you can really develop a nice uh, way to comp in a realistic musical way here's Jake hi my name is Jake Young and I go to UT Austin Butler School of Music uh, I study with Wayne Salzman and me and Wayne have been working a lot out of his new book called Developing Melodic Language on the Drums. So today with this video, I want to take you through a little bit of the book. We'll go through chapter one, in which Wayne outlines his five-step method for learning how to comp on an etude. I'll explain the significance of each step, as well as demonstrating it on the kit. And I'll be doing this using the 12-bar blues head, Blue 7, by Sonny Rollins as an example. <laughs> Step one is to learn how to sing the tune. Uh, and this is the most important step because if you can't sing the tune, then you don't really know the tune. So blue seven sounds like this. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four, bwee, bump. Bwee, ba dee, ba dee, bump, bump. Bwee, ba dump. Bwee, ba dee, ba dee, bump, bump. Bwee, dee, bump, bump. Bwee, ba dee, ba dee, bump, bump. Okay, so now that we have the melody in our head, we're going to put it in our hands. Step two is to keep time while playing the melody on the snare drum. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. All right, so now that we're able to project the melody onto the kit, we're gonna add another voice in the bass drum. And so in this step, it's important to listen to the contour of the melody and helping you make a decision um, whether you're gonna play the bass or the snare at any given point during the melody. A one, two, three, four. So now that we're able to sort of project the melody onto the kit and a couple different voices, the next step is project the melody onto the ride cymbal. So in this step, we'll play the melody on the ride cymbal, and during any space, we'll just play quarter notes to keep time. And we can also use the snare drum and the bass drum to support what we're playing on the ride cymbal. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four.
so now that we've sort of put the melody in all of our different limbs, step five, the final step, is to play in between the melody, to play in the space. So we'll keep time, and it's really important to be singing the melody in your head so that you make sure that none of your comping aligns with anything that's happening in the melody. And we'll keep the comping to bass drum and snare drum. A one, two, three, four. So these are five steps for learning how to comp on any tune. Um, take them through any and every tune you're trying to learn, and they're a great device for getting it in your head. Thank you so much for watching.